Master have created the tool that you can quickly video yourself, review, test, and better yet, measure your technical skills to the pro levels. And if you pick up a, a technical deficiency, well, it's win-win because you've successfully identified your very own coaching cue to work on. Now, we'll also have supported videos for those technical cues as well, but the whole point of this test is designed to empower the athlete, you, to take responsibility and control of your own self-development. No coaches, no interruptions, 100% player-driven. Exactly the type of player Munster wants in its system. If you're interested, let's have a crack. So here's the process you'll follow. You'll need three balls, preferably rugby posts, or if not, just use a tree and a tape measure with five meters out. You'll need a phone and someone to record you, or possibly a tripod. Now, you're gonna to need to set up your camera in one of the three positions. There are three different camera positions, the first one being two metres out from the post straight ahead. The other two are positioned one metre away and in front of the goal posts that you are passing to. Now into the skills test and you're done a video three reps with each camera position using the constraints provided. Camera position one can be used both left and right. Okay, let's have a look at those coaching cues that we're going to measure and focus on. So there's three that we want to really take notice of through these videos. The first one being W's catch as you intend to pass. So we know about our W's, we don't have to split them because it's a spin pass. So we're going to have our outside foot up and we're going to catch just in line with that inside hip. So our elbows are nice and bent, keeping the ball close to the body. So it's really important that we catch as we intend to pass so there's no finger adjustment on the ball, thus speeding everything up. Second one's going to be a quick transition load to hip. So this is done with a quick flick or rotation of the elbow to get the bicep over the ball. Keep the ball at the same height and then it's a punch through to the target. Okay, so load to hip, rotation of that elbow, bicep over ball. The next step is the finish. And think, as I said, it's the transition from load to hip, punch and point, all one thing. The stepping out rotating the torso to the target but keeping our hips relatively square and what we want to be doing is shooting at hands keeping them parallel at shoulder height palms down the muscles we're trying to engage is the core we really want to be using that shoulder muscle like a punch to really push through and stay at the top of the ball okay before we begin the test you want to have a little bit of a practice so Start with it walking, try and get the foot pattern right, try and get the ball away as quickly as possible to the target, including those cues. So as we catch early, we're taking the step with the outside foot up, staying over top of the ball, and then with the next step, that quick transition, load to hip, punch a point, and then with that, so walk through. Okay, let's start the skills test. Now, what we're aiming for is shoulder height of the bolster. That's the, think of that as the outcome, but it's not the outcome that we're trying to measure. So we're really focusing on those technical or the coaching cues that were provided rather than the outcome, but the outcome can give away a lot of what our technical is doing. So it's a good process to think of outcome, working backwards, to focus on that coaching cue. Into the skills test. Now it's a good idea to create a montage and number these videos to make it easier. Then when it comes to reviewing, you'll be watching each video three times, focusing on each individual coaching cue at the time. Alright guys, so that's it. Pretty easy, huh? Now overall, we're aiming for about 70% success rate. Now, because there's 12 videos, we're aiming for 9 out of 12. Now if you don't hit that mark, that's good. That means you've identified your personal work on cue that you can go away, do a little bit of work. And as I said, there's other videos to support that and then come back and try that again. Okay, so it's all about improving, constant improvement, happy days. So this is a good example of me failing one of the coaching cues. I've caught it in the center of the body rather than catching it early as I intend to pass, which means I'd have to take time to reposition the ball back to that hip before shooting my hands. So I'm going to mark this as a fail, but then identify my work on as catch early as I intend to pass. 
Here's an example of the outcome telling me what I've done wrong with my technique. Now I've done really well with the catch early and the rotation to load the hip, but my finish is at eye level rather than at shoulder, causing the ball to go high. 